What's up everybody, my name is Dwight and welcome back to GeForce Garage. With DreamHack Masters Marseille just around the corner, we checked in with Hans Petersov, who, at DreamHack winner last December in Sweden, took first in the Masterclass competition. This time he's showing off the winning mod, a custom test bench appropriately named Benchy McBenchface. Hi there, my name is Hans Peter. I come from Denmark and I really like building completely silly overkill PCs. This here is an open bench build. It is made from a test bench and normally with a test bench you can just quickly pull out and plug in your components. So I wanted to keep a bit of that philosophy. So this bench here has been made with soft tubing instead of hard tubing or glass tubing. So even though it is a bit overly complicated made, it is still somewhat easy to take out the components and plug some new ones in there. Speaking of components, this build has two 1080 Ti's. They have an included water block and also fans on them. As motherboard goes, there is a ASUS Zenith Extreme. Then there is a AMD Threadripper 1950X, 64 gigs of Corsair Dominator, Platinum RAMs, a terabyte of M.2 storage and a thousand watt power supply. As far as cooling goes, there is a monoblock on the motherboard itself. I have two D5 pumps here mounted to the distro plates. And then there is of course the included water blocks on the graphic cards. As you can see, nothing in this build is actually hidden. You can see every angle, you can see everything in it. What I think makes this build a bit special is that I've made a huge distro plate here to incorporate the entire build and connect everything together. A few people have also noticed that there is no radiators in this build. This is actually because I have an external radiator set up. So I have two quick disconnect fittings here and those go out to a huge radiator. The distro block here is made from two chunks of 25 millimeter thick acrylic. The way that I've made this is that I started out by designing it in 3D and then I took these two huge plates and put them in a CNC machine and had everything milled out. Then I put in O-rings and then mounted everything together so it's sealed and waterproof so fluid doesn't leak all the way around. Besides the huge distro plate here, I also made custom aluminium cable combs to hold the cables together. All cables has been completely made from scratch. For seven days straight I was making cables, assembling the distro plate, trying to get everything to fit together, uh, working both day and night. So all in all, I think this has been one of the most stressful, but also the most fun builds that I've done in quite a while. So I'm quite happy with it and I hope that you like it as well. If you guys would like to see more from Hans Petersall, we covered a previous build over on GeForce.com. So check the link down below. And while you're there, be sure to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you for the next one.